In this lecture, I am going to discuss about distortion, which is a topic in the unit abrasions, second DSC, semester 3, this paper 3. Now, what is distortion? Distortion is a monochromatic optical aberration that describes how the magnification in an image changes across the field of view at a fixed working distance. Or, one more definition, the image of a square object formed by a lens is not a square. This defect is called as distortion. The image of a square object formed by a lens is not a square. This defect is said to be distortion. Now, distortion arises due to the fact that the magnification produced by the lens for different parts of the object are different. So, this is mainly based on the magnification. Magnification produced by the lens for different parts of the object are different because the different parts of the object are having different axial distances from the lens. Hence, the different parts of the object are magnified differently. The level of distortion changes with wavelength of incident light. Distortion can change with Changes in working substance. So this distortion depends upon two factors. One is the wavelength of incident light and the other is the distance of working place. That means distance of working from the lens or distance of the or rectangular object from the lens. Now for simple lenses distortion, distortion are classified into two types. One is pin cushion distortion and the other is barrel distortion. Now coming to pin cushion distortion. If a convex lens forms a pin cushion shape, this is the pin cushion shape, pin cushion shaped image of a rectangular object, then the image, then the distortion is called as a pin cushion distortion. Here, this is the rectangular object and this is the image. This image is not like a square but it is like a pin cushion. Hence, the defect is said to be pin cushion distortion. This pin cushion distortion arises due to the fact that the magnification increases with the increase of axial distance from the center of the lens. So, this mainly depends on the axial distance of the object. Axial distance of the object from the lens, center of the lens. As the axial distance increases, this distortion increases. Here you can see that this distortion increases from the center. Here, this is the distorted image and this is the not a distorted image. We want to expect the image like this, but we are not getting the image like this. You are getting the image like this, which is a pin cushion shaped. Here, the distance from the center to one extreme is said to be a actual distance because this is the actual image formed by the lens and the expected image is like this. Hence, the expectation or prediction, this distance is said to be a predicted distance by measuring the predicted distance and actual distance. One can calculate the percentage distortion that is produced by the lens. So, this percentage distortion is equal to actual distance minus predicted distance divided by predicted distance into 100. So, the difference in actual distance and predicted distance divided by predicted distance gives you the distortion. Now, coming to barrel distortion. If a convex lens forms a barrel shaped image of a rectangular object, here this is the barrel shaped image and this is the rectangular object, then the distortion is said to be barrel distortion. The barrel distortion is like this, here this is the actual image and this is the expected image, that means this one is 
undistorted and this is the distorted now this barren distortion is said to be negative distortion and pin cushion distortion is said to be a positive distortion barrel shaped distortion arises due to the fact that magnification decreases with the increase of axial distance so in case of pin cushion distortion magnification increases with the increase of axial distance hence hence it is a positive dis distortion and in case of barrel distortion magnification decreases with the increase of axial distance hence it is said to be a negative distortion here also the distortion can be calculated as actual distance minus predicted distance by predicted distance now as the distortion is a defect it can be or it has to be minimized there are two minimization methods one is the distortion can be minimized by using thin lenses and distortion can be minimized by using suitable stumps now by using a suitable combination of thin lenses the distortion in the image formed by the lenses can be minimized so these are the uh, lenses arrangement in case of romstein eyepiece by using like this the distortion can be minimized and here these are the lenses arrangement uh, in case of orthoscopic eyepiece these are all thin lenses and these are the type of lenses arrangement in case of airfill eyepiece now coming to minimization of distortion by using stops to eliminate distortion a stop is placed between two symmetrical lenses two symmetrical lenses symmetrical means same here one concave lens is in contact with a convex lens and here here also a concave lens is in contact with the con convex lens but we are arranging these two lenses in a opposite manner such that the curved surfaces of two concave lenses are facing each other and we have to arrange a stop in between these two lenses by arranging the stops like this one can minimize the distortion here by arranging the lenses like this the pin cushion distortion produced by the costal lens is compensated by barrel shaped distortion produced by the second lens this arrangement is called orthoscopic doublet or a rapid rectilinear lens so by arranging the lenses like this the pin cushion distortion produced by this lens is compensated by a barrel shaped distortion because pin cushion distortion is a positive distortion and barrel distortion is a negative distortion hence by arranging the lenses in this manner one can minimize the distortion this arrangement is said to be orthoscopic doublet or rapid rectilinear lens